All right, I got the clutch on the on the bench over here and the primary chain on the bench. Took a look at the front sprocket. Um, how do you know if you need the sprockets or not? I mean, again, this only has about 28,000 miles on it. Really didn't expect the chain to wear out this fast, let alone the sprockets. Now, if you if you if your bike's chain driven, you you probably already know some of these tips, but so many bikes now are belt or shaft drive. You know, we don't deal with drive chain so much anymore except on cases like this where it's up in the primary. Uh, first thing you want to do is take a look at the sprocket teeth. We want to check the sp we want to check the sprocket teeth. They should look symmetrical. In other words, if I were to split either one of these teeth down the middle, that they should be mirror images of each other. There shouldn't be any hooking off to one side or the other. The other thing I can do is is an old drivetrain trick. I can lay the chain over it and see if it's riding smoothly you know along the circumference of that sprocket um, pretty good idea here that like I said you know the sprockets on this bike are, are going to be reusable not going to have to worry about replacing those while we're in here might as well take a look at the clutch uh, there's a big diaphragm spring here it's under a lot of pressure so you don't want to take any one of these bolts out you know by themselves and so we're going to just loosen them up first and so we can gradually break the tension off of those those plates and it's probably not a bad idea to do it kind of in a star pattern see some are under there's your main tension right there so we're going to take these bring those up a little more and we're just going to back them off until we can take the tension off the spring. So there's our spring. Lay that off to the side. Again, we keep everything in, in together in one place. All right, now we got the pressure plate. That's the first plate here. And what we want to do is we want to check it for any signs of blueing, overheating, anything like that, scoring any kind of physical damage to the surface. So that looks in pretty good shape. And then they're going to alternate. We're going to have a friction disc and a metal. And they're going to alternate all the way down. So we're just going to cheat. We're going to try to grab as low as we can and pull them all off at one time. And we'll set those off to the side. Now right in the end there's a little conical spring you want to make sure you don't lose that and that you install it the same way you came out uh, with the, the cone facing up if now we're going to leave that right in there the other thing you want to check is on the basket itself right where the plates meet for any roughness that could cause the clutch to stick or be hard to, to shift same here on the center any damage to the splines there would be a reason to replace the uh, that component all right so you take a look at all the clutch plates um, most of the fiber linings look pretty good the friction linings look pretty good there's a couple of the steel discs that are showing a little bit of bluing but you know what not too concerned about that at this point because I do a lot of low speed maneuvering uh, with some of the rides that I go on and uh, you're always kind of feathering the clutch and the brake uh, to do those kind of maneuvers so it's not going to be unusual to get a little bit of slippage there. If you're one of those guys that does a lot of slow rides, you know, at the bike fest and stuff, expect to see the same thing on your plates. Most of them are in good shape, so uh, it's kind of a toss up. I may go ahead and replace the clutch simply because I got it apart because of the mileage, or I may go ahead and leave it alone depending on how much all this stuff's gonna run me. I'll bend down so you can see. I'll bend down so you can see. You know, an unknown right now is, is are the sprockets on this bike stock? Probably are. 
I can count the teeth on the compensating sprocket and the uh, rear sprocket, or I can count the number of links in the chain. So that when I go to order the parts, I can make sure that I get the right ones.